Hello everyone, welcome back to our video update. Uh, today is Thursday, July 20th, 2017. Well, I want to make this quick video to uh, to show you an example of the bitter melon, especially the ripened one. Um, right here I have two different varieties. One is the shorter, rounder melon, and the other one is the more slender uh, green variety. Now typically, the oval one, the round one like this one, this one, uh, they tend to turn red or ripen sooner or faster. As you can see, they're only like half the size, right? And you can see a little tiny little tinge here, yellow tinge here already. This one is still good to eat. I can still cook this one. But this one, even though it's much bigger than, than you know, the, the, uh, the other one, it's already ripened and it's kind of soft, smooshy. And I also open it up and show you guys the inside. Now, when it's ripened, this is how it looks from the inside. So all the seeds from the inside were actually um, turned red. Now the seeds itself is not red. The red stuff there you see there are the membranes or the coating that wraps around the seeds. The seeds actually, this color I already took okay let me see if I can take one out it's very slippery it's extremely slippery oh my god it's extremely slippery so here okay so all you do is just brush it off with your hand and the sea inside is actually a brown color very hard and this is excellent sea because that's this is the color you want not white not soft but it's actually hard like this now one thing that I observe or I notice maybe some of you you know don't have experience and don't know it the seeds inside, normally there will be two rows and it will be attached to the inner um, flesh of the melon. Now, all the seeds are actually completely dislodged, disengaged from the, you know, from the, from the flesh of the melon because it's about to ready to open up from the bottom. It's about to open up. And once it open up, this membrane is very slippery and all the seeds will naturally fall out so this is extremely extremely interesting uh, how this plant uh, adaptation you know how how the the, the melon fruits plant adapt to this and once it ripen it open up and the seed was just will automatically dislodge or will actually fall down very quickly because it's very slippery so and you can see all the seed you see that it's not attached to anything at all but if I open up the renewing like this, you, you know that there was two. There will be two rows, or, or actually they'll be um, attached to the side of the melon, from the inner side. So this is a very interesting fact. Okay. Now I want to show you another one uh, that I want to uh, stretch it a little bit longer, and I want to make sure that I get the maximum growth or development out of this one before I pick it. And this one right here, I want to show you this one. So this one is much longer, and this is the uh, slender, longer, but also a slightly um, lighter green variety. So it probably has a little bit of a mixture of white melon and green melon. So as you can see, it, it's not as green, but this is such a beautiful melon, very crunchy, very beautiful. And this is, I can, this is probably a, one of the perfect fruit uh, in terms of looks, in terms of size, just absolutely beautiful. So this is another one that I will try to leave it for a few more days and see if I can uh, let it grow, let it develop even bigger. So now I can pick this right now, but I want to wait a few more days and see if I can uh, let it grow a little bigger. All right, so that's it for our video for today. Uh, I wanted to just want to make this a really quick video. And uh, if you have any comments and any questions, please help me post a comment. And please subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, happy gardening. So I'm gonna go back to pick some more melon and pick some more tomatoes and beans. So thank you for watching and have a good evening.